Hi, welcome to Agility Robotics. I'm Mitch Bernards. I'm one of the mechanical engineers who works here. And in this video today, I'm going to show you how to unbox and assemble your brand new digit robot. You don't need any tools or anything to gather for this. All you need is just a 10 foot by 10 foot workspace to put the robot together in. All the screws and tools are included in the cases here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open the two large cases that we've shipped to you and lay out the included assembly mat to put Digit together on. So the assembly mat is packaged in the torso case. This is the robot's torso here. Those are the two robot legs, but we'll get to those later. Now that the workspace is set up, we're going to remove the robot's torso from its box. And we're just going to unclip these two clips here. And then we can grab the robot by the handle and just pull the robot up. What we're going to do is we're going to take this torso and we're going to lay it down on the assembly mat towards one end of it. Just like that. For the next step, we're going to grab the leg closest to us in the leg case and we're going to remove it from the case. As so, and that piece of foam can fall away. The leg will now extend and this leg closest to us will go on the side of the robot that is closest to the camera. So we can take this leg and set it down here. Now we're going to grab the other leg out of the case and we're going to unfold it on the mat. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to mate each leg to the torso. There are a few alignment features that we need to make sure are properly aligned during this process. Because the limbs have hot swap connectors on them, we need to use dowel pins to guide the legs in during installation. So the first thing that we're going to do is as we mate the leg to the torso, the dowel pin on the leg will go into a hole on the torso. And after that engages, we'll slide the leg a little bit forward. Then a dowel pin on the torso will engage with a hole on the leg. And after all that is done, we'll push the leg forward, seating the connector. That is the first leg. Now we're going to do the same procedure for the second leg here. Now that the legs are installed onto the robot, we are going to secure them in place with the M6 by 16 screws labeled leg screws. Included in the torso case is a small tool kit, and inside you will find the Torx keys needed to install these screws. We're just going to start by getting them finger tight, and later we're going to go back with the torque wrench to set them to spec. The next step in assembling digit is to torque each of the previously installed screws with a torque wrench from the tool kit. The torque wrench is preset to the torque value needed, so it will give a loud pop when that value is reached. Now we'll do the same for the other seven screws. The next phase of assembly is going to be installing the battery pack onto the back of the torso. To begin this, we're going to remove the rear shell from the torso 
by removing the four screws that hold it on. We're then going to set the screws and the shell aside for later assembly. After the screws are removed, the torso snaps off of some little tabs and can be set aside. Next, we're going to remove the battery from its smaller shipping case and we're going to prepare to insert it onto the back of the robot. It's important to note that the battery has a connector on it and that connector needs to mate with the one on the torso. These pins on the torso will guide it in during installation, but we want to make sure that we're installing it without it being rotated the wrong way. So we're going to take the battery, line it up over the pins on the torso, and then give it a gentle little push to seat the connector. And now to secure the battery to the torso, we're going to fasten it with six of the battery screw and battery washer from the battery hardware bag. These screws we're going to tighten by hand. There's no specific torque spec. But once the screw has been tightened by hand, we can then go in with the Torx key and give it a good pull, and that will be tight enough. Now we're going to repeat this for the other five screws. Now we're going to install what we call the payload shield onto the robot. This is an aluminum piece that keeps your payload safe during the robot operation. The screws for this are already loosely tightened into their locations, so we're going to remove these four screws and set them aside. We're now going to take the payload shield and place it onto the robot as shown. And now we're going to reinstall the four screws, tightening them similarly to the battery ones. The last step is to reinstall the rear shell that we took off earlier. The rear shell has four small holes that are used to mount it to the core, and each one of these holes sits over the guide pin on the core. As we put the shell on, we can feel it click over each of those pins. And once it has clicked over each of those pins, we're going to reinstall the flanged screws that hold the shell on. These can be tightened by hand as any excess compression of the screw gets transferred to that guide pin. Now that you've assembled the rear shell on Digit, your robot is complete. We hope this tutorial helped walk you through the process and that you were able to follow all the steps clearly. Thanks for watching.